Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so we'll start with a quote. And that quote is, like the people who like you. Taurus, chasing after people, running after people, seeking validation from people who are not showing you um, the same energy or not reciprocating can become toxic, is toxic, is something that you do not want to be involved in. Um, so that's the quote of the day like the people who like you all right so let's continue here um off camera the channel message that i got for you was a raccoon so i don't know if that means anything to you raccoons have those dark circles around their eyes they have dark eyes too i don't know if you're dealing with someone with dark eyes or maybe they have dark circles you have dark circles Raccoons are typically nocturnal. They will come out in the daytime. Um, maybe when the mother is pregnant and she needs more food, but they are typically nocturnal animals. Okay, so we're going to see how this ties in, if at all. Um, we've got the Hierophant, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, with the main male, the main female. So there's some connection here. There's a relationship here. Um, whether you're married or not married, I don't know. But there's a connection where somebody, uh, it, it could be you, Taurus, because you're showing up in your own reading as a hierophant. You decided to put a stop to a halt to um, all of the issues and all the problems, the five of swords type of energy that was going on between you and somebody else. There could have been uh, lies, someone being deceitful, selfish, um, playing mind games backbiting, lying, again, talking behind your back, slanders, gossip, and you just decided to let a higher power deal with it and you got in control of your energy and what part you played in it and you kind of just decided to move on and move past this relationship and look past this relationship. You decided to leave that, that well, I mean, you intellectualized this moving on, like, when you see the six of swords this is somebody who says it just makes sense to move on to stay here would be you know the downfall of me it would be only to my detriment it doesn't make sense to stay here i'm not getting what i want there is failure here it's not going towards anything there is drama i mean salacious drama there is fighting there's argument there's just discord all together so he said you know what i'm gonna leave that part of me behind and i'm just gonna leave the whole situation behind i'm gonna go on a retreat and sometimes the six of swords can talk about leaving um in secret trying to remain um not um tr trying to remain you know on undiscovered that you're leaving or because like this could have been a gradual thing too this could be what someone was doing to you or you doing to them um this card also talks about sometimes leaving in shame because you didn't get what you came for you didn't win the fives are a battle five of wands five of swords five of pentacles five of cups you know and they're different battles um this is the battle of the wits because this card talks about sharpening your words. So I don't know. It could be you. It could be the other person. You just decided, you know, it just makes sense to move on. I'm not even going to do the battle with this person anymore. And it looks like you are, um, again, journeying on. Something new is arriving or you are arriving. You're departing. This talks about departing and arriving. It talks about transportation and vacation and you know transportation with wheels it doesn't necessarily talk about air travel but you could be traveling by air but it talks about you know a journey of journeying on moving on 
all the while you're trying to move on um, because you've had these um, realizations and epiphanies come to you. It's like, are going to focus? Up here. You've had these realizations and epiphanies come to you. Um, you still have this thief here who is um, waiting, waiting in the wings, waiting in the in the in the dark shadows back to that raccoon the raccoon is nocturnal so somebody's like moving in darkness um oh you can't you you need to question their motive like what do they want because there's there's too much shadowy skeptical shady energy about them uh the raccoon also is forages for food and you know will steal out of garbage pails and garbage cans and they'll they'll if they can get in your house they'll steal your food and run back out you know um so it's like somebody's trying to take something from you whether it is actual tangible items stuff that you can feel or it's the intangible trying to take your time your energy your love um your essence your aura i don't know you know uh so you have to be cautious of that. You also have somebody showing up here as the King of Swords. And this could be you. This could be someone else. Um, they've sacrificed something else to move on to you. And they're moving in darkness. They're not telling you everything. They're on a journey too. This could be you. Somebody could be sacrificing somebody else to come to you, Taurus. They, they could want to offer you something. Uh, this is how they're seeing you as the empress. You're abundant. You're flourishing. Um, you're creative. You are creating. They see, they want some change to happen in their life. But I think they want their fortune to come from you and by your hand. And that's why the cards are asking you to question their motive. What is your motive? This person could be desiring to come to you, offer you their cup of love, sweep you up your feet, sweep nothing, make you fall in love, say that we'll rebuild. They could also be needing a handout. The only card that is not here is the Five of Pentacles. Because, um... Yeah, this person could be needing a handout. They could be needing a handout from you. They could be wanting something from you. They could want to act as if they are building alongside of you, but they're really trying to build for themselves. They have this um, self-preservation type of energy about themselves. Um, this survival type of energy. Yeah, the raccoon. The raccoon only lives for two to three years. I didn't know that. Um... So, I don't know, this is a short-lived something. This person doesn't play. You're not the final destination as we have journey. Not for this person. It's like they want to come, take, build, get something from you, get resources. And then they close up shop and they're trying to hold on to their resources for themselves. Put a cap on the relationship and maybe even move on and offer that pinnacle somewhere else. Jesus Christ. Be careful of who you're trusting and who you're dealing with. The raccoon is coming up. I suggest you Google the raccoon, learn about the raccoon, and try to make it make sense for you if it does. If it doesn't, leave it right where it is at this reading, okay? Thank you, Taurus. Um, for being here. Many blessings to you. Get your own personal reading at the website level. All links are below. You can also ask a question or two by texting the number uh, below, paying for your question, and receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you.